everybody, Melinda Brody. Hard to believe it's October. This month's topic, we're gonna to talk about asking questions. Now here's something interesting. I went to a TED conference last month here in Orlando. And when I go to these events, I go by myself and I like to meet new people. It's very interesting, uh, eclectic group of all different types of people. So I try to meet like three to five people at a normal networking event. So I ended up talking to three different people. And my customary strategy is ask them all about themselves. I ask for a business card. I actually look at the business card and then I say, you know, tell me about your work. How did you get into that? How long have you been in that job? How long have you been in Orlando? And we have these conversations and what's amazing to me, maybe not surprising to you, is I walk away, I know everything about them and they didn't ask me anything. It actually happens with my neighbors a lot. I'll go outside, ask about their kids, how, how's it going, how's your family? And I walk back and I go, you know, they don't ever ask about me. You know, I think kind of Facebook sums all this up, our level of narcissism and how much people are super, super into themselves. Why not use this to your advantage in new home sales? I watch about three to five mystery video shops every week. Now, some have greatly improved as far as asking questions, but there are a lot, a lot of video shops that are still very lame. A few quick questions, you know, what's your price point? Have you been here before? Did you want a three or four bedroom? Okay, let's go look, bam, out the door. So you need to become the master questioner. In fact, when you get your video shop, you should sit down listen to it and write down how many questions you asked. Now, long ago, we worked with a client. You might know who it is. I'll keep it anonymous. <laughs> and they had 25 questions on their scorecard. Now, the salespeople were all anxious about it, but I understood the methodology behind it. If they drilled and rehearsed and trained their sales team to ask 25 questions, maybe they'd remember 15 and maybe they'd remember and ask 10. How many questions do you ask? And do you ask the important ones? You know, using that Jerry Maguire approach, help me help you. In order for me to not waste your time today and take you to the home of your dreams, I need to ask a few questions. And get past the house. Find out their situation. Find out about their family. Find out their reason why they're there today. It's so important. I have to say, this is my 29th year of video mystery shopping. It has greatly improved, but we still have work to do. Till next time.